So in today's video, we're going to be doing a review on the Reptile Fogger made by ZooMed. And we're also going to be doing some comparisons between using fogging systems and also using Reptile Misters. So make sure you guys stay tuned. So as you guys know, I bought a reptile fogger a little while ago for one of my dark frog enclosures and I wanted to actually put it to the test before I did a good review on it for you guys and tell you guys what I think about using the fogging system compared to using just a regular reptile mister. And as a side note, all the products mentioned in this video today will have links in the description so if you guys would like to go check it out and get some for your reptiles, feel free. But you have to use my link down in the description. So to start off, if you don't know what a reptile fogger or fogging system is, a fogging system is a device that uses water and turns it into water vapor and helps to humidify the local area or wherever you decide to put the hose that it runs through. The cool mist that it creates helps to increase animal comfort, relative humidity, and also it just looks really cool. These types of devices are great for high humidity animals and ZooMed recommends that the Reptide Fogger is good for chameleons and anoles, amphibians, including dark frogs, tropical geckos, including crested geckos and day geckos, forest tortoise species, uh, including the red-footed tortoise, yellow-foot tortoises, and hingeback tortoises, hatchling and juvenile tortoises to prevent pyramiding, which is also a very important thing among turtles, so if you don't know what that is, go check that out and Google it up. Box turtles and also hermit crabs. Pretty much when you buy the Reptifogger, it comes with everything you need to set everything up. Including the Reptifogger actual base assembly, including the adjustable fog output control. A fully adjustable flex tubing that extends from 10 inches to 32 inches, allowing you to use this for different terrarium sizes and setups. And it also comes with a one liter bottle with a no spill drain valve that you need to screw onto the bottom to obviously keep it from spilling. They do have some optional accessories that ZooMed recommends to use alongside with this. Uh, they recommend to use the Hygrotherm. If you don't know, the Hygrotherm is a thermostat and humidistat in one. And it's supposed to control up to a thousand watts of temperature and humidity control devices. And it's also supposed to have a nighttime temperature drop setting that's used by a photo cell to help keep track of everything. That's because in a more naturalistic environment, temperature fluctuations is something an animal is always going to come across. I've read a couple different reviews and a lot of people said that this really isn't that good of a product or it could have been made better. But I'm still going to try it out and see how it'll work out with my whole system with my dark frogs. So if you guys know anyone that has a hygrotherm, please tell me what you think of it down in the comments. And going by the box here, they also recommend to get the ZooMed Precision Analog Reptile Thermometer and Humidity Gauge. Me personally, I prefer digital gauges. They seem to work a little bit better and tend to be a little bit more accurate in my opinion. ZooMed also makes digital gauges if you guys would like to go check those out. Remember, we have all the links down in the description, so you guys go get one of those for yourself. So as far as usage goes for the Reptifogger, I think it's been working out quite well for my dart frog. I've been using it now for a couple months and I haven't had any issues with it and it's been working perfect so far. If you guys haven't seen my dart frog video, I'll put a link in the top right side of the screen so you guys go check that video out and come back to this one. Normally every day what I do with the Reptifogger, I turn it on full blast in the morning so that way it can get everything covered real nice in a good dew and allow my frog to get his normal amount of water. Dart frogs in particular, they get the majority of their water intake through their skin so they absorb a lot of this water through their environment and being able to cover the whole environment with a little bit of mist is very beneficial to these guys. But using a reptile mister, you can achieve the same effect. And I still use my reptile mister to this day with some of my other reptiles and amphibians. Going back to the dart frogs, if you don't know, they're from the Amazon rainforest and the relative humidity around there stays around 100% majority of times around the year. So to achieve this with the reptile mister, I had to go in and actually spray the enclosure down multiple times throughout the day to try to keep the humidity up. From all the misting, I started to notice a buildup of water down in the drainage layer at the bottom of the enclosure 
and that can tend to cause problems if you get too much water down in there. So eventually I had to actually drain all that water out and redo the whole enclosure. And this is where the Reptifogger steps in. It allows me to have higher humidities for my animals and I don't have to soak down the entire enclosure. Another plus to the Reptifogger made by ZooMed is the fact that it's super quiet and you really won't even notice that it's running. The one downside that I have that I wish they would fix is the size of the container that they use. Even though it comes with a one liter bottle, I tend to go through maybe one bottle every one or two days, depending on how much I decide to use it for the day. So if they made one with a larger bottle or maybe a larger Reptifogger like a Reptifogger XL or something like that, I would definitely get my hands on one of those. But ideally, it's not too big of a deal just to refill it and put it back on. This way you always know you're providing fresh water for all your animals. A key thing to remember with all the water that you're using for your reptiles and amphibians is to always use a water conditioner or dechlorinator. Because if you're using just tap water, a lot of the water that comes out of our faucets and sinks tends to have a lot of minerals and things in it that may be okay for us to drink but can be a little bit on the unsafe side for your reptiles and amphibians. So I normally use the one called Reptisafe, a uh, picture over here, but it's a real good water conditioner and it just takes a couple drops to dechlorinate everything and especially with the fogging systems they tend to last a whole lot longer because they don't have the calcium buildup on the little actual plate that actually makes the fog when you turn it on. Another thing to look out with the Reptifogger is the no spill drain valve. You want to make sure it's actually put on snugly to the bottle itself so that way you can make sure you're not going to have anything leaking out the sides and when you turn the bottle upside down to put it back on the device, you want to make sure you don't squeeze the bottle at all. Because if you squeeze the bottle, uh, it tends to actually squirt out a little bit of water. And this can get water on electrical products and other things like that that you have maybe close by. So if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. That way you can keep up with all the latest content coming out. And also, go follow us over on Patreon where you're going to be able to see some of our Patreon-only videos, live videos, bloopers, and other things like that that we have going on, on our Patreon. It's only going to cost you a dollar to actually go onto our Patreon and become a patron today. As far as the Reptile Mister, the one that I'm using is a Mr. Lizard Jr. Uh, picture over here also link in the description I use this mister to water down all the plants that I have in my bioactive setups and to also mist down all my snake enclosures since they only need misting once or twice a week so if you only have a few animals that you need to water and give water to this mister is probably perfect for you but if you start to have a collection like I have you may need to upgrade and get you a bigger one I noticed that exoterra makes a really good one as well that you can possibly get or you can probably go to Lowe's and get you a industrial size one. Remember that we have all the links down in the description so that way you can go get one of those and check it out for yourself. The only issue that I do have with some of these sprayers is the fact that if you don't actually clean the bottle out uh, for maybe a week or two, uh, mold does tend to start to grow in the bottom of it and they can be kind of hard to clean out since they do have narrow necks at the top. So. Make sure you always clean those bottles out whenever you empty them out, so that way you can keep all your water clean. Other than that, I quite enjoy using this product and I recommend it to anyone else. So if you guys or if you know anybody that has a Reptifogger themselves, tell me what you think of the other ones down in the comment. They do have some other budget friendly options that's a little bit cheaper than the actual Reptifogger made by ZooMed. I'll put some of those links down in the description if you guys would like to go check some of that out as well and tell me what you think. So if you guys enjoyed today's video and you would like to see some more product review videos just like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tell me what you think of it down in the comments. And if you'd like to see some more of our videos, I'll put some on the right side of the screen over here so you guys can go see those and check them out. And don't forget to subscribe.